Hallelujah, Jesus. I was really good walking on that road to nowhere. Hallelujah. I never thought that I could be saved. I know that sounds funny for a person that was raised in church. But I never thought I could be saved. I never thought Jesus would love me, care about me. Because I've gotten down to the altar to pray at times and I couldn't feel, I didn't really feel anything. And I didn't really understand His love for me. Hallelujah. So I just started living life, just kept living life, really not heading anywhere. I was on the road to nowhere. I couldn't know where I was going. And I knew that if I died when I laid my head down at night, if I died, that I'd go to hell. I knew that. But I, I guess I just gave up. But then I had Lee, that little baby. A clean slate. I couldn't raise her to go to hell. I couldn't do it. I loved her. I, oh, I, I have to raise her right. So I have got to find the Lord. And I got to believe him. I started seeking the Lord. And the harder I sought, sought the Lord, the harder the devil fought me. My husband wasn't saved. He did drugs. He did alcohol. He was a partying man. And we moved up to Virginia in a little house that was built under the ground. One of those basement houses. And as the days went by and I sought the Lord, I tried to get saved. The devil just got on me harder and harder. And I didn't know what to do and I didn't have anybody there to help me. And pretty soon the devil got me down where he's telling me that I was hurting my girl, hurting my baby, and that I was hurting my husband. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't have anybody there to pray it off of me. I was just scared. I felt like I was hurting my family. I felt like I had to do something. So I took Michael's gun and I went up on the side of the mountain and shot myself. And when I did, all of a sudden I realized I didn't want to die because I wasn't ready. So I cried crawled down that mountain, slid down it, crawled through that pasture. There's cows out there grazing and went over an electric fence. Yeah, because I was going to our neighbor's house. I had to have some help and I knew it. And I went up on their porch and I said, I've shot myself. I need you to call the ambulance. I never met them before. Michael was home with Lee, baby. She was just a baby. And they called him, said, I think your wife's up here. And they called the ambulance. And they took me to the hospital. And on the way, Michael rode in the ambulance with me and he said, I closed my eyes. And he said, oh Lord, don't let my wife die. I'll serve you if you won't let her die. So they got me to the hospital and they did surgery, repaired what they could and repaired me really. And then I was in the ICU. But you know what? The devil didn't give up. That doctor came in and he said, I've heard that you sing. And I said, yes. And he said, sing for me and I said no and he said you will sing for me the devil was talking through 
that little truth. Scaring me. Trying to scare me. Trying to make me think that there was no hope for me. Anyhow, Mama came up and she took Lee, helped with Lee and Michael. When he come in to see me, well, after the Lord let me live, he went home and he raised a crop of marijuana. He went home and he burned it all up. He came back up there and he didn't know how to be saved. He's not raised really raised in the church. He didn't know how to be saved. But he was trying. And he'd come and he'd look at me. And when he looked at me in the bed, I'd look up at him and his eyes were glowing like holy light coming through his eyes at me. The Lord let me have some encouragement like that. It was sounds it was real. It happened. And I was fighting the devil because the devil wanted me dead. Finally, I got home to my mama's house and he didn't stop. But God sent people from the two ladies from the Dockety Church of God out there to mama's house. And they started praying for me. One of them went in the room where I had been staying and she said she saw a devil in there and she told that devil to get. He was that one that was tormenting me. And that day, that day, Jesus came to me. Amen. That day, after I saw the Lord in the altars many times, never was touched by him like I needed to be. That day, Jesus was right up at the ceiling of my mama's house. And that day, my sins that I've been carrying around, and I had a lot of them. I had a horrible sin that I've done. I had an abortion when I was younger. It was nothing that couldn't be taken away because they it was lifted off of my shoulders. It, I filled it leave all the sins that I had committed. All of them left. They were gone. And I knew that I was born again. I knew that Jesus had finally saved me. Jesus. My aunt and uncle drove up after that happened and I went out and I ran out to him and I said, I was born again. <laughs> church and he laid his hand on me and started praying and all of a sudden out of my mouth came words that I did not know. I began to speak in a language I did not know and I knew what it was because I was raised in it all my life. I knew the Holy Ghost had come into me. Come on. I went in mama's room and I closed the door and I let the Holy Ghost speak and let him speak and let him speak. I'm still letting him speak because he let me know that I don't have to do it alone. I don't have to somehow muddle my way through this life and get to heaven. He's with me. He's helping me. Oh, the devil still fights. But he can't win. He can't win. And he's losing with a lot of people. Right, David? He's losing with a lot of people. Because Jesus loves us. Jesus, he won't let us go to hell if we don't want to go to hell. You can have him. You can have him. You may have to press through all kinds of mental things that come through your mind and come through your heart. And you may have to press and press and press. 
to find that relationship with Jesus that you want, but you can have it. If I can have it, you can have it. Of nothing. I was lost. I was headed on the road to nowhere. And Jesus came and found me. He picked me up. He gave me a new life. He didn't care what I had done before. He only cares that I'm going to make it home one day. And you can too, all of us. All of us can make it home. Oh, <laughs> 